Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and Marvel Rivals Season 3 has dropped recently and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can improve your FPS, get better performance, fix your lags, stutter and ping issues in the video. So make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're over here come down to gaming. Head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. This game bar is an overlay service and disabling that will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. After that go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on since it will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background. Right beneath that click on the graphic settings and over here enable optimizations for windowed games to reduce input latency by using advanced features and then advanced graphic settings enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling which will utilize your graphic card to render the games then you have to click on add desktop app over here and then go to the download location of marvel rivals once you find it double click to open it up and then you'll have to go over to marvel games marvel binaries and win64 you'll find marvel win64 shipping.exe click on the add button if that is already added scroll a bit down until you find it select it and then for the gpu preference select high performance and optimizations for windowed games should be turned on Click on the GPU preference and select high performance over here and ensure that it is your graphic card. Then optimizations of windowed game should be turned on and that should be it. Then you have to click on this search button and then type in memory integrity. Select core isolation and then you wanna have to turn this thing off. Once that is done, simply close your settings. Next step is compatibility settings and for that go to the download location of Marvel Rivals. Head over to Steam, right click on your game and then click on manage. Then select browse local files and you'll be right in the game files. Head over to Marvel Games. Marvel, Binaries, Win64 and you'll find the Marvel Win64 Shipping.exe. Right click on that, head over to its properties and then click on compatibility. Click on disable full screen optimizations and then click on change high DPI settings. Enable override high DPI scaling behavior and then click on OK. Click on OK and this should fix your input latency. Next step is fixing all of your ping, packet loss and network issues using GearUp Booster. I have left a free download link right in the description below, you can download it from there. Once you open up GearUp Booster, you'll find a simple interface which should look like this and it offers you over 300 games you choose from simply search for marvel rivals over here and that will one click boost your game to give you the lowest amount of ping once again over here you'll find something called server region and node which should be default set to auto server you can click on the auto server to change the region it will find the nearest region to you as it is showing singapore for me it gives you the lowest amount of ping and the packet loss right away it is very simple to use it helps you to connect your pc to the game server without any hindrance which eliminates all kind of ping, packet loss, latency and other issues. Click on this burger icon and then head over to settings. Head over to optimization settings and then click on optimize RAM after boosting. Once that is done, simply close it and now you guys can enjoy your game with the lowest amount of ping and maximum amount of FPS. I personally have used Gear Up Booster to optimize my games and I would definitely recommend you guys to go check out Gear Up Booster from the link in the description below. Next step is create a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and then select local disk C. Click on the create button and name it Marvel Rival just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your game settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, click on close and close system properties. Next step is Marvel Rivals Season 3 FPS Pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys have to download it up, extract it and open this folder up. You'll find in 6 simple folders. The first one is Marvel Rivals Priority in which I have left above normal and high priority. I would request you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose right over here. Second folder is CPU Priority and it will help you to set the correct D word value for your processor to optimize its performance. If you guys have an AMD CPU, double click to apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you guys have an Intel CPU, double click to apply the Intel CPU priority. Third folder is RAM optimization, which does the same thing but for your RAM. I have left a lot of registries over here, which are presets according to your PC. I have 32 GB RAM, so I need to apply this one. You can apply it according to your PC's RAM. Fourth one is disable unwanted services in which I have left all of these services which are absolutely useless and disabling them will help you to optimize the performance of your PC. Again, if you use any Bluetooth or printer services, leave these two and disable every single one of these services by double clicking on them. After that, you have revert registries folder. If you guys want to have to revert any of these registries back again, use this folder. Next is input delay improvement in which I have left keyboard latency fixes for which you need to leave your keyboard specs down in the comments below. And I'll be telling you guys which buffer you need to choose and then mouse latency registries in which I have left a fixed mouse curve. You can right click on that and click it in notepad to see what other settings that it is going to change. It helps you to set up the correct mouse sensitivity and smoothen your mouse X and Y curves according to pro settings to optimize the mouse movements. 
Next is useful programs in which I have left these three programs. First one is clean temporary files. You're gonna have to right click and run it as administrator. Once it opens up, press enter on your keyboard and this will delete all temporary and prefetch files on your PC which will help you to improve the performance. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0. This is used to optimize the performance of your GPU. Run this as administrator. Once it opens up, look for your graphic card and then click on the MSI button next to it. For the interrupt priority, select high and this will help you to prioritize your graphic card and improve the number of interrupts that you can handle. Once that is done, click on the X button. Next is Unpark CPU, right click and run it as administrator. This software helps you to fix up core parking index. Core parking is a concept in Windows which is used to put the cores in sleep which are not in use. To fix that, you can set the system power plan to high performance or ultimate performance over here. And once you click on active, slide this core parking index all the way up to 100% and that should be done. It will ensure that all of the cores are up and running and it will help you to optimize the performance of your CPU. Once that is done, simply close it and close the FES pack. Next step is disabling unwanted animations on your PC. And for that, simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of Windows and press enter. Once you're over here, click on custom and then you'll have to disable every single one of these options over here, except save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. Only these four options should be set to enable and that should be it. Click on the apply button and this will disable all kind of unnecessary animations on your PC, allowing you to improve the performance of your windows. Next step is MS config and for that simply search for MS config over here and open system configuration up. Head over to the boot section, click on advanced option and then select number of processor. Choose the maximum number of processor available for your PC and select no GUI boot. Click on the apply button, head over to services and then click on hide all Microsoft service. Then disable all kind of unnecessary service like fan control, R GB, browser update services, any telemetry service which you see over here and once that is done click on the OK button. Click on exit without restarting. Once you're done with all of that, you guys can now open up your game and follow the best in game settings. Alright, once you're in your game, head over to your settings gear and then click on settings. Then your target display should be set to your native display. The display mode should be borderless windowed. Anti-aliasing and super resolution type. Change it from TAAU to NVIDIA DLSS if you have an NVIDIA graphics card or AMD FSR if you have an AMD graphic card and Intel ZES if you have an Intel graphic card. Then for the super resolution mode, you guys can go with balanced or performance. Both of them works fine for absolutely better FPS. But if you guys are looking for a little bit of quality, you guys can go with quality over here as well. Then for the super resolution sharpening, I would recommend you guys to leave it to 80. AMD FSR 3 frame generation should be turned off because it will induce input latency. However, if you guys need extra FPS, as you guys can turn this thing on on the cost of input latency for the nvidia reflex low latency just turn this thing on if this option is available for you limit fps should be turned off show fps network stats should be turned on and vsync should be turned off then for the graphics settings you have to select graphics quality all the way down to low global illumination should be set to ssgi and then you'll find something called texture detail go and set this thing to medium or high because both of them works absolutely fine then you have to press enter to save these settings and then click on confirm and just with that you guys can go back and enjoy your game with the best fps possible so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to do leave a like and smash your subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel since we are really close to 250,000 subscribers i would definitely appreciate you guys to subscribe the channel we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out